Hello from the Nomad Town. Um, coronavirus. Oh, what a thing! Coronavirus. It's it's all over the place, and still, I don't know. Like I I, I like to think gratitude first. So, can we be grateful for coronavirus? Um, well, who is we? I think that's the question. So, if we include the rest of nature, other species, into this we then I think we should be very grateful. Um, the reason is that when we look at the the death toll of the coronavirus so far among humans, I don't know how it affects other animals, but among humans the death toll is relatively small if you compare it to, I don't know, traffic accidents, um, normal influenza. So, on the other hand, what it does is unimaginable. If if I were try to campaign to stop tourist flights from China to Finland because I don't see how they are beneficial. I see that there's a financial benefit, but for the rest of nature there's no benefit really. Like if there is then it's like you know you have to really work hard to get that happen. So if I were to campaign to stop these flights from China into Europe for pleasure or business, it, it would be impossible. Um, if that was uh, some, um, I don't know, some economic sanctions, let's say we don't allow flights from China to come in, that would, you know, open a trade war. But this tiny, tiny little virus, <laughs> it, it makes all this. Uh, it, it's like there's like airlines that have stopped flights from from China or to China and sure sure it's a tough tough thing for many people especially those involved who you know want or need to travel who have family want to stay connected but when we look at the bigger picture and I think we really have to look at the bigger picture we cannot afford to look only at the human picture then I think we should be probably grateful um, for the positive sides of the coronavirus and yeah I, th I think that's that's it. That's my thoughts about the coronavirus. I don't know why I put those here, but anyhow, have a good day and a good time and love you. Bye-bye.